Today in this lesson, we are going to discuss some questions which come under question number 14 in your self-assessing and learning kit. First of all, let's take a quick review on the structure of the lesson. You should write the description in three sections. First introduction, main trends, features with comparison. Finally, conclusion. When you write the introduction, describing the topic given in the question and information given in the two axes, you should consider you should consider the verbs in the you should consider the verbs of the tenses. For example, bar chart shows represents deficits. Vertical line shows depicts. Horizontal line shows represent depicts. You should here use the simple present tense. Then you have to write main features, trends and comparisons. If the question is given in present tense, you have to explain trends and the comparisons using present tense. If the question is in the past tense, you have to use the trends and comparison using past tense. You can start the sentence according to this bar graph. In this section, also you have to consider the tenses of the verb. Finally, you have to write the conclusion. You have to write the idea about the graph and giving the overall idea of the graph. You can start the sentence in, in conclusion, we can see. Now children, first we are going to discuss about the question. It is in your practice paper, question number 14, page number 14. The following bar chart shows the number of people who were at various quarantine centers around Sri Lanka during the COVID-19 outbreak. Study the chart and write a description of it. Use about 100 words. The words given below. Most, few, a few, some, least, most, equal. You can notice the verb is the question is given in the past tense. Then you have to write the paragraph using past tense. Children, now how do we write the introduction? The above bar chart shows number of people who were at various quarantine centers around Sri Lanka during covid 19 outbreak. Now you have to give the in information about two axes. The vertical axis depicts number of people quarantined, while horizontal axis shows quarantine centers. There are six centers given in the graph. Graph Kandakadu, Valioya, Oyamadu, Giragama, Iranmadu are some of them. Then you have to write the trends and the comparisons. The most number of people were at Valioya, while least number of people were at Giragama. An equal number of people were at Oyamadu and Jaffna, that is 300 people. 
150 people were at Kandakadi. Out of them, some of the people were at Iranamadu. You have to write other questions using the same format. Now let's move to practice paper 5. The following bar graph shows what 105 students in your school like to grow in their home garden. Write a description based on the information given in the chart. You can use these adjectives. First you have to notice the question is given in present tense or the past tense. In this question, the question is given in the present tense. You have, so you have to write the paragraph in the present tense. This bar graph shows what 105 students in our school like to grow in their home garden. The vertical axis represents number, numbers while the horizontal axis shows the fruits of choice. There are six fruits given in this chart. Pineapple, mango, and pepo are some of them. According to this bar graph, the highest number of students in our school like to grow oranges, while the least and equal number of them like to have olive and pineapples. That is only 10 students. At the same time, many children like to have mangoes too. Not only that, but also the number of students who like to grow papo is more than the number of students who like to have guava in their garden. So as a conclusion, we can say that orange is the most popular fruit among the students. Now likewise, you can write the other questions in the practice paper use the same structure. Then mata Oland kyan lone me question eka liya ganna lesima krame. Now look at the question. Me prashne diha balanda the following bar chart shows the number of people. Api introduction eka ganna kota me question eke ma tamai introduction eka denne. The above bar chart shows number of people who were at various quarantine centers around Sri Lanka during the COVID-19 outbreak. This is the first sentence. The many sentence you have to explain two axes. Aksha deka vishtara karan Vertical line ekem bunuadakiyan. Horizontal line ekem bunuadakiyan. Vertical line shows number of people quarantine while horizontal line represents quarantine centers then make a vadima in ekena the most number of people were at vadima in the most number and the least number is in Giragama, Adume Eka. San Sandhane Karano. Avasana Vashen, conclusion Eka, Okkoma Diha Balala. Kiano, the in conclusion, you have to write. As a conclusion, Vadiva Kramanya in a value, the most number of people were at value center. Ogolanta may structure eka igena gapo, may structure eka to vidyata, lesium lakunula bagana pulwa. And they asked to write a description. Ogolang make for this question, 
they will be given marks, marks they know, like no dahaya. Content ka okkomili yala kibbot, you will be given three marks. Language, hariyata capital letters, full stops, grammatically vyakaran kulavali yala kibbot, you can get the other three marks. And correct order you have to write. According to me, how the order is structured is annually written. You can get the other two marks. And mechanics of writing. According to the bar graph, in a conclusion, you have to use those mechanics. Maybe the other question is that you have to use the same thing. So, wish you all the best. Thank you.